a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. Right, we're, we're ready. The, the world is watching what's taking place here. We're gonna count all the votes. When the process is complete, there'll be electors selected. There's a process, the Constitution lays it out pretty clearly. The world should have every confidence that the transition necessary to make sure that the State Department is functional today, successful today, and successful with the president who's in office on January 20th, a minute afternoon, will also be successful. I went through a transition on the front, and I've, I've been on the other side of this. And if you are connected via Interaxio, you... We secured 16 billion euros, 16 billion euros on top of the package agreed upon by the heads of state in July. 15 billion we will reinforce the key uh, flagship programs on which uh, Madame uh, Marquez and Mr. Olbricht will uh, tell you anything you want to know about it. And these uh, flagship programs are of course at the heart of the European citizens' concerns and are at the heart of the added value that Europe can bring to the economy and to its citizens. The U.S. elections. Well, I just want to repeat what I've, I've said before that uh, I, I really congratulate uh, uh, President-elect Biden and, uh, and and Kamala Harris, who's I think going to be the first I know, the first ever uh, female vice president of the United States. And uh, yes, uh, this country's had a good relationship with the uh, with the White House over the last. A few years, but it's had a good relationship with the White House for many, many uh, years, and I have no doubt that we will continue to have a very, very strong, uh, very close uh, relationship with our American friends. And one thing and I, I, that is very exciting uh, that uh, you're already seeing from the incoming administration is their their willingness to join uh, the UK. In Temas Khatti ve Allah'ın dehlizi bu...
think we're all still kind of running on adrenaline at this point. Um, even like looking back at the last wave feels a bit like a dream or a nightmare. We're exhausted and it will be a struggle. My staff, I'm very concerned that they're also very tired and stressed out and we have a lot of sickness due to either burnout. हमें फॉग की वजह से आगे दिखने में दिक्कत है आंखों में जलन सी मस्ती है सांस लेने में दिक्कत हो रही है इससे बहुत सारी परेशानियां आ रही हैं लोगों को भी आ रही हैं Next, these tests allow us from today to begin rolling out twice weekly testing for all NHS staff, which will help keep people safe when they go into hospital and help keep my wonderful colleagues in the NHS safe too. Now, the next step is to roll out this mass testing capability more widely. The, the Honourable Lady raises an incredibly important point. So I can tell the House that last night I wrote to 67 Directors of Public Health who've expressed an interest in making 10,000 tests available immediately and making available lateral flow tests for use by local officials according to local needs at a rate of...